Hey guys, um, I wanted to get on here and show you guys um, some planner spreads and kind of do a flip through. Um, um, I wanted to do a flip through in all my planners because there have been a few different weeks um, where I have um, lost the footage. Um, I did a lot of my planning videos ahead of time and then... Um, my files were corrupted and it just it um deleted a lot of my videos which was very very frustrating um and so you know i lost some of them from that and so i just wanted to get on here and do a quick flip through through all um i probably won't do my church planner just because you know a lot of you don't have planners like that and so you know i show you guys those planning videos sometimes but other than that you know I don't really want to do a flip through of that one, but um, I'm going to start with the Target Dollar Spot Planner. Um, I have changed this one out. So this mini binder is actually from Walmart. So it's almost $4. I think it's, I can't even remember how much it is, so I'm not going to try. I think it's like $3.86 or something like that. Um, it's almost $4. I do know that. And so it's kind of like the price of the mini binders at Target that are not in the dollar spot. So if you go to the stationary aisle where the binders are in Target, you will see other mini binders that um, they have. And they're just a little bit more expensive than the $3. So um, with that being said, Tristan, shh, either be quiet or go play in your room. Um, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead. This one I thought was really, really spring. I bought a few of these um, because this is what I, I keep my stickers in um, mini binders. And I'm going to do a video and show you guys my sticker organization. But I, I keep my stickers in mini binders. And so I bought a few of these. Um, and so um, I just decided to change this one out for spring. It's really bright and vibrant. And so I decided to change that out. Sorry, Tristan's in here and he's very talkative. Um, so um, I'm just going to, this, I also got these. Um, these are the new inserts and dividers, um, the little dividers in the pockets, which um, I think this is two different I'm not sure. I can't remember if this is two different ones or if um, it's just the one pack. But I think a couple of these uh, pockets are from a different pack. I'm not positive. Or I think I took some of the pockets out and put them in a different thing. I'm really not sure. But anyway, this is a pack. And I also have the new um, actual, you know, um, pages but since I covered this up anyway, I'm really not that concerned with it. But I do have the actual pages that have the little purple and the dots that match this. So I might change that out. I might not bother with it because, like I said, um, you know, I, I cover that up anyways most of the time. So um, I haven't done my... Um, I will do it like a really pretty dashboard and I will decorate this and, you know, put some more decorations on this. I also, um, I told you before with this way that I have my Target Dollar Spot Planner separated where I have the actual month and then all the weeks in that month and then I divide that out. That's how I use my dividers. I divide it through each month. Um, this one is always left blank and then the first weekly page is always left blank as well so i do need to cover those and put something on it but i have been really really busy lately and so i haven't kept up with that but i do need to do that for every single month so i might do a video or either just a share with you guys after i decorate a bunch of this stuff and really deck out my planner um, I do need to do that since I've switched all of this stuff out. I need to really, really deck it out. And I might decorate every single month and show you guys how that turns out. Tristan. Okay, sorry. He's very, he's distracting me and I had to tell him to go play in his room. Um, so, anyways, um, I do definitely want to show you guys that and I really need to, to deck it out. But for now, these are just the layouts. So these are some of the ones you've seen. And some of these you will have seen and some of them you might not have. Um, so this was February. Um, I think it's super cute. And you guys know that in my Target Dollar Spot Planner, it's my homeschooling planner. And so I try to do um, more kid-friendly 
um, things. And so you see like these are the ones that are left blank. And so I really just want to start kind of decking them out in the theme that I decorate them in. And um, I need I really need to get on top of that and do that because it'll make it more fun for me to actually use this planner. I actually don't use this planner all the time. Um, you see, I really used it on this week when I did um, my food theme. I know that I posted this video, um, but this is when we were learning about good foods and bad foods. And so I did that. I did use it a lot on that. Um, and I really do need to start writing things down. But like I've told you before, I have a um, um, lesson plan book that um, it's like a little workbook kind of. It's spiral bound. And I got it from the Target Dollar Spot when they were doing back to school. And that's kind of what I write my day to day in. So sometimes I don't use this as much as I use that just because I just jot everything down in there and um you know, I still, it still is helpful if I use this, but um, sometimes like this week and I think even the week after, I don't, I don't use it all the time. So this was a superhero theme. I thought it was super duper cute. I really liked this one. Um, and then I didn't even write anything down in this one on this day. So sometimes I, I just don't. Um, see, I didn't use it for this one either. This one was tea theme. I really like it with all the little animals and the ABC letters. I used the ABC washi. I actually got this. It was a Scotch brand washi, but I found this at the Dollar Tree. And then I just use, I really like using cardstock in this planner because when you do and you do it with both sides, it just really makes the pages so much more sturdy than just the, you know, naked paper. So I liked that one. I did not use this one. This was this, this week, you know, past. This was the princess theme. Even though I have boys, I still did that. And I did not write anything down in it. So sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just decorate it. Um, and then sometimes also I'll go back and jot. I did that some in the week that is really filled out. I'll go back and jot down things that we did just so I can remember. Um, things that he really liked. Things that worked out really well because I don't put that in my other you know, a little notebook, um, things that worked out really well, things that I want to do again. I'll go back and fill that in, um, you know, when I'm going through our papers and going through our projects to put them away. I'll go back and write, you know, what really worked for him, what I feel clicked, things that I feel like we need to work on um, for, for the next week or things that I feel like we need to build on or whatever. And I'll go back and write that in. So, I still will probably fill up these spaces. It's just a matter of when. Sometimes I don't use it in the week that it's in. So this is this week, and I know you guys haven't seen this one. Um, I didn't even film this one because um, I did a winter theme, and I know everything's spring, and I'm even doing so many bright colors. But the reason why I did winter is because it went from being um, – we had a date night and it was 79 degrees. I wore a sundress, I wore sandals, and I wore just a light little jacket for inside the theater. And we were outside and it was 79 degrees. Then um, the next day it was um, 52 degrees. And then the next day it was like 48. So I did this just because I was feeling bluesy and feeling like, dear God, is this winter ever going to end? So this is the week we're in now. And it's rainy right now. It's not too cold, not too warm today, but it's super rainy. And now we're having tons of thunderstorms. But I just wanted to get this last winter spread in. I saw these stickers that I had left out because I had put all my winter stuff away. And I love them. They're like really, really squishy. And I got them, I think I got these from Hobby Lobby on clearance, but they're really, really squishy. So I just put this in here because I was feeling the winter weather and I was like, geez, you know. So I did do this spread in winter. Okay, now this is the last, um, this is the last of this week going into March. So this is actually, you know, tomorrow is the first, today is Tuesday, so tomorrow is the first, and then it's going to go into March. So, um, I will decorate this out and then this, I haven't even filled out, but I need to start filling this out for each month. Um, this I got from the target dollar spot planner as well. And it kind of says all of this kind of stuff. I won't really use this page in this planner. 
Um, now I can washi this out and punch it for my happy planner and I can use this in my happy planner if I want to. I'm um, just for groceries and to do's and, and extra space to write if I want to. But this schedule is the schedule that we will follow. So if I find that something's working for this month that I want to change for the next month, then on the next month sheet, I can change this however I feel like. I didn't fill this out for this month. We haven't really been going on a true schedule. And that's something I'm working on in our homeschooling. Um, he wakes up at different times. He takes a nap at different times. It just really depends. So I'm trying to really nail down what works for us. So I've been doing a lot of research and I've been, you know, seeing what, what works for him. And so I'm trying to nail this down. So I haven't really done this yet. But this tool is going to be a really great tool to kind of list down for our homeschooling methods, what we do. Um, so then, of course, I have to decorate this for March. And I haven't done the monthly in this one yet, but I did do, um, not this next week. I haven't done that one yet, but I did do this one. So I feel like I will just share that with you really quickly. Um, this is the week of, um, oh, actually, yeah. So this is right where we left off. So this is the week I just left this little extra sheet of paper in here. So this is going to be end on the 5th, this Sunday, and then this is going to pick up on the 6th, which is Monday. Okay, so um, next weekend, is not this weekend, but next weekend on the 11th is actually Killian's first birthday. So I did this in a birthday theme. I kind of kept it in softer colors because he is just one, and I didn't want to do loud, bright colors. Um, you guys are probably going to see a haul. I was hoping to leave today, but it's thunderstorming. It's supposed to be worse tomorrow, so I might just get out and brave it. I think it's calming down now. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit better in the afternoon, but I need to go and find some things for my ideas for his birthday. Um, the theme that I want is classic poo, and with classic poo, um, not just baby poo, classic poo, like the old vintage -y feel of poo. It's very, very hard to find and you pretty much have to order it. Well, I don't want to order it. It's not, I'm an instant gratification kind of shopper. And so, um, I really want to find, you know, a lot of those things. So you're going to be seeing some hauls and ideas that I come up with to kind of fill in the gaps of what you can't buy in stores. You guys, I'm going to do a video on that as well. And then I'll also do a video at his birthday so that you can kind of see, um, how it all turned out. Um, we're only doing a birthday with family only because I think that first birthday, they're not even going to know. And so I think having a big party, I, personally, I think for me and my kids that it's kind of silly. So I did just do this little birthday theme. I haven't, again, filled anything out. I didn't even fill anything out for this week yet, except for this day. Um, we didn't actually homeschool. So that will remind me to homeschool on Saturday since we didn't do this day. And so, um, yeah, so this is my Target Dollar Spot Planner from February because I didn't use this in January. From February is when I started using this as my homeschool planner. Um, and on into, this is going into March. So um, I'm gonna do occasional flip through. And I think since this video is almost 14 minutes long, I might do separate videos for you for this one and then the two happy planners. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so I think that's what we're gonna do just so you guys don't have to sit through so much. But I will do another video when I really deck this out and make this super cute. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Um, I have great ideas for this channel. I know it's already March, but you know, I really wanna make this year great for my channel. And I'm really trying to build and build and build upon it. I have lots of good things that are coming up. Um, I'm slowly collecting all the things that I need to do, some videos that I have in mind. And um, I hope that you guys will come back to see those. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video and this little share, um, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. It really does help me, you guys. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, you know how much it helps. So please do that. And um, as always, you guys, I love to hear from you. So please leave your comments down below. Anything that you have for me, I love to hear it. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Hopefully it's not as rainy as mine is. And um, happy planning.